What's up Ranger fans, PR Mayhem back with a new video and we're now one week away from London MCM Expo which I can't wait to get to the Docklands for at the XL Centre, um, I always enjoy it unfortunately I'm not at London Film and Comic Con Winter this weekend um, just because work this time of year is really hectic and I'm going away all next weekend obviously for Expo anyway so I couldn't make it down there which is unfortunate um, at Expo I'll be debuting my Time Red or Time Force Red Ranger gear on Saturday and I'll be rocking the good old Evil Green Ranger on the Sunday and this is an overall video to give you guys an idea of the quality of the work that Wibbly Wobbly FX do in regards to helmets um, their helmet from them came in a couple of weeks ago, it's this one to my left um, I ordered a new one from Ollie there just because uh, my old one from MMPR USA helmets I got second hand and it didn't match up with the suit very well. If you go on to uh, some of the photos from my previous cons that I've been with um, this helmet to, it doesn't match up very well to my suit. So more so than the quality of the helmet itself, I just wanted a helmet that matched up to my 007 Halo suit well. Um, so I sent uh, Ollie a sample of the suit. In fact, I sent him the whole suit um, to get a sort of idea of the shade of green that I was looking for and he matched it up wonderfully. In natural light, it's absolutely spot on, and that's the helmet you see here to your left. So this is going to be an overall review of the helmet, uh, their craftsmanship and their paintwork. This is a finished uh, Eric 0101 helmet. It was his sculpt that Ollie at Wibbly Wobbly FX finished, and let's just jump ahead right into the video. Now, I'm not particularly skilled at doing this with one hand, so you're going to have to bear with me when I'm focusing in and everything. Um, as I mentioned, I ordered a new helmet, um, an Eric sculpt finished by Ollie, uh, just because the helmet that I previously had didn't actually match up my suit very well, and it kind of irked me. Uh, I do like to think I'm a perfectionist. I like to think when I go for a, or for a, a cosplay piece that I go all out and I get the best of the best from everyone, um, which is why whenever something new comes along, I grab it. I originally had a Sushia Shield, then I went and got a King Ranger one, then I went and got Man Maniacs one, um, so I like to keep on top of things and I like to get the best quality that I physically can and the, the uh, fact that the helmet didn't match up with the suit really bothered me so I'll start off with the diamond there we go so very nice paintwork there there you see the gold trim around the diamond uh, my camera's being funny for some reason there we go so um, Ollie has expressed to me his dislike for doing Green Ranger helmets uh, because of the amount of like uh, pinstriping and everything that there is. Uh, this helmet does come with a hinge, uh, much like my old helmet. Uh, main, the main reason for that, uh, if I just turn it around here, the main reason I uh, got the hinge was simply because elastic hinges I don't get on particularly well with. Um, all, like my old Anarchy helmet was a pain to use with the elastic hinge. Uh, my Time Red helmet is a bit of a pain as well. And the uh, the metal hinge just it it flows on and off a lot smooth more smoothly in my opinion, and plus I don't think an elastic hinge would actually work for this helmet with the back panel anyway. So let me just turn it around to the front there. So you've got some of the paintwork. You've got the nose. Uh, one thing I do miss about this helmet is it's got a hard on visor, whereas my old one there was it was sort of like more plexi, so I could push it in breathe and spare. Um, one significant difference is. The holes that you see there on the bottom are quite small and compared to the holes that I've got here, they're significantly bigger, which means a lot more breathing room. Um, also, the way that um, Ollie actually padded the helmet itself uh, allows me to talk far more clearly than my old helmet. Uh, I can actually communicate with everyone openly with this on and this, because of the space in there and my mouth so mo freely to move, uh, the visor doesn't fog up as much easier because of the huge... Uh, uh, breathing holes underneath the mouthpiece which is really really good so there you see the smooth teeth work very nice indeed if I go and try and turn them over to the other side oh. I, don't, I don't even know you can see the split there there you've got the actual part of the panel. It's not actually uh, painted in, it's just left pure green. That way you can't actually see it from if you're not actually looking for it, which is great. 
the uh, clasps that Ollie used on this are significantly smaller and easier to manage than the rather bulky ones that I had on my old MMPI Helmet USA one. Uh, the inside, I'm going to try to show you the inside now without dropping out or anything. You just see there the inside, it's got uh, foam padding for the back of my neck, it's got uh, uh, foam padding on the left and on the right of the inside of the helmet, and it's just got a strip there at the top to soften up the cushion for the head. There you see the resin that's used for the actual, to attach the hinge that's on the back of the helmet. And my name's even in there, so if anyone asks, yes it is mine. So. I'm very pleased with it. What I'm going to do now is I'm quickly going to throw it on uh, just so you guys can uh, sort of hear just how clearly it is when I'm speaking in there. And here it is on my head, guys. Uh, I don't know how well you can actually hear me from out there. From what I can tell in here, I'm actually quite speaking quite loudly. Um, I can hear my voice quite clearly. There's a lot of space for my uh, mouth to actually maneuver in, uh, unlike uh, things like my old Red Ranger helmet, my old Green Ranger helmet, and my current Time Ranger helmet, which there is absolutely no talking on going on whatsoever and while I'm actually communicating the visor itself is remaining completely clear which is great um, that's always a big concern uh, the original advantage of my old helmet was the fact that I could push in the visor and have a bit of a breather space and then I could sort of defog the helmet at the same time whereas that doesn't seem to be much of an issue here due to the large holes underneath which also plays an effect you actually about to hear me through the helmet which is great because now when people ask me to stop at conventions like Expo I can actually hear them, and uh, when I'm talking to people, they can hear what I can say. Anyway guys, that's it from me, and I'll catch you as always next time.